Hi guys, so before I get into the intro for this reaction and before I actually get into this reaction, I wanted to take just a moment to talk a little bit about Scott Wilson. Um, for those that do not know, the actor that played Herschel has passed away. My sincerest condolences to his family in this unbelievably difficult time as well as all of the people who had the wonderful chance to be friends with him, to meet him. I got the wonderful opportunity to meet him a few times at Walker Soccer Cons whenever I went. And I remember the first time that I met him, he's just so unbelievably sweet. And whenever you go just even near him, it just like radiates off of him just how incredible <laughs> this man is. And this was a character that deeply affected me as a person and I told him I, you know, I'm gonna get this tattoo that says we're not too far gone with a katana in, you know, in memory of Herschel and also as my semicolon tattoo. For those that don't know, semicolon tattoos are like at a certain point in your life if you thought that you couldn't go on, you didn't want to go on. And then you made the decision to push through it. This is my semicolon tattoo and it was also, you know, for Herschel and Scott Wilson did that for me and it's, but it, it truly meant a lot to me, um, just as a person. So, um, I went in Nashville this year and I was able to actually show him that I followed through and I got the tattoo and it meant a lot to both of us like he was like you you got it that's that's amazing and we just shared that special moment and had a few hugs um but yeah i wanted to take this moment to just share with you guys um what scott and what herschel truly meant to me and just take this moment to really um respect this wonderful person that has now moved on um, but now I'm gonna try and be more um, positive because I know that he wouldn't want us sitting around and being upset and you know crying and feeling so bad um, but it's premiere day and I have on my radiate positive vibe shirt and uh, I think we should just take this moment and know that this is what he would want us to do. He would want us to be just absolutely celebrating the fact that we have a season nine, guys. Like season season nine is here, but let's go ahead and get into the intro for my reaction. All right, guys. So the season nine premiere is about to start and I'll give you guys one guess as to who is my favorite character. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm so excited um, just to see King Ezekiel again. I do have the feathers in my hair. Um, they're still, they're a little bit tangled. Um, and you can't really tell, but I have um, a blue string tying them together because he also wore blue feathers. Um, but it kind of blends in with my hair right now because my hair is like a purpley blue. Um, but I'm excited to get this season 9 premiere reaction started. Excited to see this guy again. You can- hold on. Ooh, gonna cry a little bit. <laughs> um, also have Shiva here. They will now be in my Walking Dead reactions from now on. Um, as well as adding an additional feather to my hair for every episode the King Ezekiel stays alive so I'm hoping at some point to just have to make a complete feather hat <laughs> yeah let's go ahead and get this reaction started guys oh everything is rebuilt like a new beginning is one of my favorite storylines in the comics like I love it so much Kids, 
my god. God, the mom inside of me is just like screaming. Like, oh, jeez. Where are you pointing? That is a bad omen. No. Poor guy. Still has a tie on. He's just trying to make it to work on time. Just so much traffic these days. Oh, come on, what do you do? Oh, my king. He looks so badass. Oh my god. Okay, so question, why did they decide to take all of the most important people on this trip? Um, because these are the people you don't want to lose. Okay, my two favorites right here. King Ezekiel and Michonne. Just like, so, oh god, I'm so obsessed with Halloween. I just like, I saw the sheet in the corner. I'm like, what? like, why is some kid pretending to be a ghost right now? It's like the worst possible time for that. Wait, who is that? Ooh! Oh no! Oh no! 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 I'm out! Bitch, you better say it. It'll snag on everything. And I told you not to ask me that. I know. Especially after something like this. And this is not happening. I volunteer as tribute. She don't want it. I'll take it. Shit. Well, kill it. What the fuck are you doing, kid? Fuck 
fuck's sake, some of these kids just staring at the walkers. No! Oh my god, just fucking leave. Fucking really? Oh god, ow. Uh. So is this Earl's son? I'm so confused as to how they're doing this versus the comics. My son is dead. Your boy has no father. And okay, bitch, you need to saviors eat our food and take everything that he'll talk well for. Bring it home, she let everybody know. I'm not getting up on the stage. Give a damn speech like him. It's a bad time when we just lost him. You don't have to, like, make this grand, like, kingly speech, but you have to address people if you're going to lead. That's, you kind of... I know he's saying kind words, but I hate him so much. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah, I don't trust it. I still think he's an asshole. Like, assholes can have nice moments too, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't be like, so mean. Cause he could truly be affected by this. It's been a few years since we've seen him in one. Or like a year or so. Me. I want to take over here for a while. For you. You do. You don't bring Henry in the game. Meg thinks she's above the law. Hmm. You know he was still a shitbag. It's a joke. <sighs> Who do you think of? Maybe we need. An agreement between all communities. Like, this is what we believe. This is how we treat each other. And this is what happens when we don't. I feel like that should have already happened. Yeah, it's good. You know, Daryl's not happy. Is he ever? He's coming in with that things breaking down. The famous Rick Grimes. <laughs> say anything, not now, but it looked like someone with the face Gwen's gray. Maybe just some sort of accident. Kids didn't know any better. I hope it wasn't that someone was angry. Probably no big deal. Check it out tomorrow. Like, I hate how he yeah. says it so casually, like... It was probably him being an asshole since he fucking doesn't agree with that shit. I really hate him, like... <gasps> what the fuck? <gasps> Baby! Oh, her door. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, get the baby, get the baby, get the baby! Go 
out this way. Absolutely fucking not. flinch because of the kids. I made this decision. But this is not the beginning of something. My I don't want to go through it again. God, is she okay though? I really love Enid. So that episode is over. What a wonderful premiere. <laughs> Just for the ending. Like, that's fantastic. I'm so happy. Um, okay, a couple of things to go over. One, why did you make me have a heart attack over King Ezekiel? No, thank you. Don't do that again. Um, the whole Maggie and, like, everything that went on in that situation. Wow, um, it's so weird because it happened so differently in the comics and this is one of those times where, um, I don't, I don't know how to put this, like, whenever I reacted, like, for you guys, it hasn't, there hasn't really came a, a time when there's a huge difference between, like, the comics and the show that, like, I'm kind of passionate about and it's, really weird having Earl in this particular situation. Um, I can see exactly what they were going for with Tammy and some things of course have to change with deaths that have happened in the show that have not happened in the comic that I get but like having them two together is kind of odd because I really really like Earl in the comics and he seems pretty different in the show which is kind of sad. Kind of a bummer for me. Um, I'm trying to think like like, everything just immediately got overshadowed by the fact that Gregory was hung. Like, yes, absolutely, I'm so happy. Is Enid okay? Because she's in a wheelchair. She, it, the way that she fell, I, I've been in cheerleading and gymnastics before, and the way that she fell just looked very scary to me. Um, so I hope that everything is okay with her, uh, but I think that that's going to be all. I think that that's going to be all. I might do a live stream and talk to you guys a bit later in the week about the premiere and what you guys thought of it. But comment down below what you guys think about what just happened. Are you ecstatic that Gregory is gone? Um, yeah, that's going to be all for this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like always, think positive thoughts and send positive vibes. Bye, guys.